You're watching The Road Show on Fox Providence. During the course of this summer, you'll be hearing about air quality alert days. And here to explain to us what that is and what it means for all of us this summer is Robert Vanderslice from the Rhode Island Department of Health. Thanks for joining us oh, this morning. So first off, what is an air quality alert day? Well, when the Department of Environmental Management predicts that air quality is going to be bad and dangerous, we issue an air quality alert day. And what are health dangers of the ozone in the atmosphere in days like those? Well, ozone's very irritating. You're going to notice your eyes and mouth burning. It's difficult to breathe. Your lungs don't work as well. And in fact, you're more likely to get a lung infection on days where we have an air quality alert. So this is something you definitely notice. Uh, waking up going outside in the morning then it's different than a day like today. Well say. in the morning the ozone levels will be pretty good and as the afternoon progresses those with asthma or pre-existing heart or lung conditions they're going to notice problems first but air quality alert days bother everybody. Everybody's going to have a little more trouble breathing. And uh, if it isn't just the ozone, you measure fine particles, and that can be found in the air, I guess. What are dangers of that? Okay, so fine particles are going to affect mostly people who have heart disease. So for ozone, we're worried about young children with asthma. For particulate matter, we're worried with elderly folks, especially those who have heart disease or might get uh, increased risk of heart attack. Okay, definitely something to watch. You know, recently we had the Canadian forest fires. They reached all the way over here at the end of my street. I couldn't even see it. It was full of smog. So even though it wasn't hot out, situations like those can be dangerous as well, right? Well, certainly. We can get particles from any source of combustion, so a forest fire can release. Um, that was a little unpredictable. We, we thought it was going to move in a different direction, but it came and uh, hit Rhode Island as well. And what happens on air quality alert days locally? Well, the first thing is RIPT is trying to help out by offering free bus service that day. So um, produce less pollution, don't drive yourself, take the bus. And um, people can do other things. So uh, exercise indoors, come back, um, scale back on your exercise regimen and monitor, listen to your body. Air quality alert days are a bad day to set your personal best at, at exercise. Something to look out for, for sure. And thanks so much for joining well, us this you. morning. And if you'd like some more info on air quality alert days and things to look out for this summer, you can just head to our website at foxprovidence.com.